Welcome back to the morning show on this Monday. It's a great day to learn about agriculture in central Illinois. And what better way to do that than with our Ag in the Classroom segment with us here to the Atcock from the Champaign County Farm Bureau Foundation's Ag in the Classroom program. We've got some exciting lessons. This one, very hands-on, yes. very interactive, and you got to use some of that STEM learning. Yes, yes. Tell us more about what we're doing today. Well, what we're doing is one of our experiments that we're going to do during our summer camp at Parkland's College for Kids. Uh, Ag in the Classroom is going to College for Kids and offering Ag Survivor. Oh. Yeah, so what we're doing is we're going to drop these kids in uh, central Illinois and they have to figure out how to get to their paradise and survive all the elements of Illinois growing their own foods, uh, how to read the weather, how to take care of their animals, what about shelter, all of those things. And with each of the challenges, they'll, they'll have a contest and, and they'll win a challenge. So there's gonna be a winner every day. Okay, so you've got a graphic, I think, that has yes. some dates on this. Talk me through more about the event, where it's at, what it, you know, the dates and stuff we see that in the screen okay. there. So it's at Parkland College. It's College for Kids, and it's going to be offered from June 17th to June 27th. Now it's Monday through Thursday from 3 to 5 for our class. There's other classes offered as well, but, um, and Fridays are off. So during those two weeks, we'll have daily challenges and in order for them to survive Illinois. Now you can register at parkland.edu. You'll need to search for College for Kids and look for Ag Survivor to join us for the Ag in the Classroom lesson. And uh, registration is now open. That's exciting. Okay, and again, this is the specific, the Ag Survivor is what you're doing. Yes. There's other programs available for kids as well there? Yes. Okay, cool. So we've got one of those. I guess here a little bit. You're going to give us a little sneak peek. Yeah, I'm going to get a yeah a little right. peek because we have to figure out the weather. And one of the things we're going to do is we have to invent some weather instruments. And so we're going to make an anemometer. Anemometer, yeah, very familiar. So an anemometer tracks measures the, the wind. wind. Yeah, it measures the so wind. How, okay. how strong the wind is. Yeah, and how do you measure the wind? What's it called? The measurement? The miles per hour. Is it knots? Is oh, that, you can measure that? knots. Yeah, okay. so you can measure knots, kilometers per hour, miles okay. per hour, things of that. Uh, a lot of our maps and graphics, when we show you at home, we say, hey, this is in miles per hour. But uh, yeah, different, different countries and different ways we measure the upper atmosphere, we do use knots a lot. So, okay. so what we're going to do is what we're doing is we're trying to measure how fast the wind is going okay. and this device is going to tell us we're going to count how many rotations it makes in the wind and what you need is five paper cups Dixie cups the little bathroom cups and two straws and you need a punch in order to punch your holes here and slide the straws in there and then with tape you're just going to tape on your cups now we need to uh, figure out a way to mount it so we've done this with a straw and uh, some tape in order to have a platform um, you can also use pencils sometimes it works good this way sometimes it's better with the metal that might be a nice way for kids to try and figure out what's the best way for the wind to move the anemometer. Then yeah. You could have even more with that. And that's part of the challenge. They're going to have to figure out how to make this work. Okay, so I yeah. did that a little bit. Yes, I was kind of looking at this. I was like, okay, I want to figure out we had a pencil or another object. I thought maybe I'd take a little straw and some tape on there to give it a little platform. Yeah, let's see how it works. So and we've got a big fan here. Yeah, I brought a fan. Now, when we take this outside, there's going to be air moving everywhere. Yeah, that's true. So it's going to be able to fill the cups more so than our direct wind passage. Okay. Trying to see if I can get that. And we'll try this one first. It's okay. kind of a little lopsided. Let's I didn't think see that here. And, and that one cup blew up there. Yeah. And sometimes the closer to it, uh, the more it will move. Uh, I think I busted it here. Okay, let's try it <laughs> I'm this a little is, lopsided in that. I didn't, I didn't do a very good job, did I? STEM challenges. Oh, there it's, you go. Look at that. It's trying to spin a little bit, maybe. I'll probably need a little more tape when I make this, didn't I? That's okay. This That's is pretty okay. fun, though. You just see it <laughs> flailing around. I can read it in my mom, but I guess I can't make one. That's what we're learning today. <laughs> <laughs> so this is really exciting. Kids are yeah. going to be doing a lot of hands-on science, math, engineering, yes. uh, technology work and things of that, trying to make anemometers. Can you give us any hints on some of the other well, topics covered? Yes, yeah, so we're going to be growing our own food. Okay. And by the end, we're going to have a smoothie party. A so. smoothie party. Yeah. yeah. That sounds really exciting. Yeah. Man, you got kids who are interested in this. Again, let's go to the graphic one more time so, to talk about those dates for you. Parents or grandparents at home, you might be thinking, hey, a couple hours, I can get the kids out of the house doing something fun. At 
at Parkland College, uh, June 17th through the 20th, June 24th through the 27th, and the time again was? 3 to 5. And it says for grades 2 through 5, is that correct? Um, second grade through 5th grade. Seven, second grade through 5th grade, cool. Yeah. And uh, we've got the information. There. If you want to connect with this lesson, uh, this idea, or you want to get more information, we're going to link you on our website to the registration form as well. Head on over, get all the details, wci.com slash ag in the classroom.